What up, Alex here. I'm gonna to explain to you three things that you can expect to change in your life or your business when you get your liquor store online. What do I mean by getting online? I don't mean getting on Facebook and Yelp and whatever, Foursquare. What I'm talking about is getting a website. We want pacostore.com, all right? Um, that way, we start ranking uh, even better for stuff like liquor store near me, and we can start being taken much more seriously by some of our higher end customers, okay? So, one thing that you can expect to happen when you get your liquor store online is you're gonna sell a lot of this weird stuff. For example, agua, okay? This is a coco liqueur. This stuff sits on the shelves, okay? Um, I don't know what kind of area you have to live in to sell this kind of stuff regularly at, uh, you know, 30 bucks a bottle, but for some reason, people buy this shit online. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't blame them. It's cool. I would probably buy it if I didn't get all my shit for free. You know what I'm saying? But um, people buy it. So yeah, one thing you can expect in all seriousness, you're going to start selling some products that you probably don't even remember that you have. Okay. Uh, that stuff's going to start moving. Number two thing that you can expect as soon as you get your liquor store online is you are going to have some more sales. Okay. Not only are you, yes, you're moving uh, products. Okay. But your big products, all right? If, if it's decently priced, now people are starting to see, okay, you sell your smear off at a good price and you have a website, all right, you know, some trust in there, or whatever. They're going to spend some more money in your store. Good for you. Step three. Don't mind my out of breathness. Whew. Step three. Part three of this video. You can expect a lot more work on your plate, all right? There's a bunch of stuff involved in making a liquor store website. Um, then there's a bunch more stuff involved in making a, a, a liquor store website successful. You know what I'm saying? I'm still on my way there. Hopefully pretty soon I can make a video on like three best ways to get to 100,000 sales in a month online with your liquor store website. But for now, um, I'm just going to give you the three things that you can expect to happen. Sell stuff that you haven't sold in a while. Don't expect to sell by a case. You know, don't, don't go reorder all this weird shit as soon as you start buying it, uh, selling it. But yes. People are going to buy the weirdest shit from your store, and they're going to love it, okay? And they're going to be really happy about it. These are good customers to ask Google reviews for, okay? Uh, two, your revenue is going to go up a little bit. We went up by $10,000 a month. Uh, I'm not sure if I said it in this video, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing yet. You know, I'm just doing it day by day, and we're already up to $10,000 a month and with the online sales. Uh, third thing you can expect to happen was... A lot more stuff to do, okay? A lot more stuff. You're gonna have a lot of paperwork uh, to, to fill out. You're gonna have a lot of passwords to remember. You're gonna have a lot of phone conversations. You're gonna have to get credit card processing straight. You're gonna probably wanna look into your accounting. You're gonna wanna find out about taxes and uh, interstate taxes and shipping and get FedEx set up and get some packaging and get some graphic designer help. It's a little bit scary, but listen, this is what you want to do. It's 2019, all right? Hopefully this is 2019 when you're watching it. It's 2019, man. Get your liquor store on, online, all right? Just do it. Get it over with. Now you know exactly what to, uh, to expect. This isn't that organized of a video. I'm going to do a better job in the description, all right? Just read the three points and, and start doing it. Work some magic, my man. Sell that liquor.